This is a HDMI 2.1 audio extractor that's gonna allow you to take your gaming headsets to the next level. And with this audio extractor, you're gonna be able to take your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox Series X and be able to run HDMI 2.1 cables into this back out to your television and extract a fiber optic or analog output. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up and what it can actually do so we can put it through its performance test. Now, before we get started, I wanna give a special thanks to Z who recommended this product on my YouTube channel. So sit back, relax, let's get started. So let's take a closer look at it before we get into all the setup. Well, you see that it's a 4K 120 Hertz HDMI 2.1 repeater. On the back side of it, both of these are HDMI 2.1s. You have an input that's gonna come in from your gaming console. You have an output that's gonna go over to your television. And then we have your analog outputs. This uses a 3.5 millimeter cable. This uses a fiber optic. And one thing I like about the power cable is that it screws on so it doesn't fall off. On the other side of it, we have some indicators. We also have this button so we can select from 7.1 output five channel output, two channel output, or you can just copy whatever is coming out of your console. And there is a update port for new firmwares in the future. I also want to show you guys the EDID settings. So depending on which mode you have it in, you can see that it supports all these different bandwidths. And that's pretty cool because you can select anything you like to go over to your headsets or your audio system. Next, we're gonna jump into the setup and it's super easy. It takes about one minute, maybe 30 seconds. But I want to clarify some of the comments based off of some of the previous videos I made on audio extractors. First of all, if you have a 4K 60 Hertz television, an audio extractor will not, will not magically turn your TV to 120 Hertz. So just keep that in mind. Also, HDMI 2.1 cables are not necessary on a TV like that unless you get a Dolby Atmos soundbar. In that case, the eARC is used for the audio outputs. Now, with that being said, if you have an Xbox Series X or a PS5 or both of them, I will tell you that the cables that come with those consoles are already HDMI 2.1. So all you need is one HDMI 2.1 cable to go out of the audio extractor over to your TV. We're about to test this out and see how good it performs, but I wanna show you guys the setup first. Out of the Xbox, I have it going over here to the input of the audio extractor. Outputs going over to the LG C2. You see right here, I have a 3.5 millimeter going over to these speakers with analog, but you can use fiber optic output. Now, if you have something like the Astro 50s, you're gonna take that audio output and run it over to that uh, receiver that comes with the uh, Astros. And here's that power cable that I was showing you guys earlier. Now, if we look at the front of it, you can see that it does have lights. There's a blue light indicating that I have an input, an output, and I have it set up to copy, so whatever signal it gets is gonna go out to the speaker right there. Oh, sorry about that. So I was doing some edits on this video and I realized, I forgot to tell you guys as far as the next part, is that fiber optic does not support lossless audio, it's just not enough bandwidth. The only way you can get lossless audio is through eARC, which this extractor doesn't do for that purpose. So. Keep in mind, this is for headphones and things like that, so I think you'll be fine. Just don't expect it to be lossless because the next clip's gonna show that the output is lossless, but that's only if you're using HDMI completely and not an audio extractor. Okay, back to your programming. All right, so for test number one, I have the TV plugged directly to the Xbox, and if we go into TV display settings, you can see that it shows 4K, go to video modes, Everything's checked off. Still plugged directly in. If we go down here to audio, you can see that it shows HDMI, Dolby Digital Audio. And we have the options of stereo, uncompressed, Dolby Digital, Dolby Atmos. And if you had a headset plugged directly to the TV, these are your options. Now let's plug in the HDMI 2.1 audio extractor. Here comes the true test. If we go over here to TV display, it's still reading 120 Hertz. Let's go over to video modes. You can see everything is still checked off. Now, if we go back over to volume audio, and again, this is on audio extractor, you see we have the same options. Now, if I press this button here in the front, it's gonna switch over with the EDID and go into 7.1 mode. So if we exit out, go back to volume audio. Now look at this. We have options for stereo, uncompressed, all the way down to 5.1, DTS, surround sound, and Dolby Atmos. 
Sounds really good too, it's crystal clear. All right guys, so we switched over to the PlayStation. Let's check out the settings. So inside the settings, we're gonna go down here where it says sound and video. And then we're gonna look at video information. You can see going through the audio extractor, we're getting 48 to 120 hertz and the VRR is enabled. And it does support HDR. So you can see all the settings right there. Now, if we go back and go into the audio settings, then go down here to audio output. You can see that it's showing two channel audio. There's no way to change it, but all I'm gonna do is hit this button on the front of the audio extractor. It's gonna flicker so it can configure the TV correctly. And this is 7.1 configuration. You see when it came back up, it's reading 7.1 and that can go over to your headset as well through the fiber optic to get the best sound. All right guys, so I hope this helped you out. If you've been looking for an HDMI 2.1 extractor, it's finally here and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more that comes out to the market. But this one, you know, it's pretty inexpensive. So if you decide to buy one, make sure you're going to use my links in the description below because the channel does get credit and everything helps to keep everything going over here. Another thing I want to say is that the HDMI cables that I was using, you know, I'm just going to say spend more money to get good cables because after a few videos I've done with these cables, it's just they don't really work. And, you know, everything on Amazon is not perfect. So, you know, if you're a cable manufacturer, reach out to me and maybe we can work out something so I can use your cables on my future videos. But I'm looking for something good, not, not inexpensive stuff. So, but with that being said, uh, if you... Uh, have a PC that has a HDMI 2.1 cable. If you have a HDMI 2.1 monitor and you decide to buy these and hook it up with your headset, leave me a comment below after you test it out because I'll be interested to know if it works for those type of scenarios. Uh, with that being said, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>